So you've done your yoga teacher training course and um, you know you feel ready to teach. And it's really, that's where the journey begins because we only really learn uh, to teach yoga when we start teaching because teaching real people who have no desire to become yoga teachers um, and might be beginners is completely different from practicing on your fellow yoga teacher trainees. And one of the things that, or one of the kind of people you might come in contact with are pregnant people. And this is, will most likely happen because um, presuming that um, your students will, for most of us, mainly be um, female, identifying as female, not all of them. Sometimes I have classes that's kind of 50-50, but um, probably most of us, it will be female. And they will be at an age where it is likely that at some point they will become pregnant. Now, most yoga teacher trainings, they do include like an afternoon or a couple of hours where they offer a few suggestions that you can teach pregnant women. But our anatomy and physiology is nowhere near to understand what actually happens when someone becomes pregnant. And it is actually really important when we teach yoga uh, classes that we teach them safely. So we can't know everything about every uh, surgery or aches and pain or illness or medical condition physical or mentally. But if we do choose to include pregnant people in our classes, we actually do need to understand what happens during pregnancy. Um, and strangely, most of us have no idea, <laughs> even uh, for those who have been, been pregnant themselves, don't know really what happens except their own personal experience. So I learned that uh, the hard way because most of, when I started teaching yoga, uh, about 13 years ago, I think, 13 years ago, um, a lot of my students became pregnant and they wanted to continue coming to classes. So they asked me about specific pregnancy classes and I really did not feel confident teaching them because even if I have an interest in female health, I at that point didn't really know anything about pregnancy and how it affects us physically. Um, physiologically what the hormones do in our bodies uh, so i didn't feel i was competent to teach pregnant people at that time so uh, i decided okay this is it i have to learn so i studied and i studied and i researched how uh, pregnancy does affect the body and the more i learn the more uh, passionate i am about how we actually get educated so if you are a yoga teacher and highly likely you will teach pregnant people or you might even become pregnant yourself, it's not enough to say that, oh, you know, just listen to your body or your students have been practicing for a long time or it's a new student and they've been told by their GP that yoga is wonderful during pregnancy, which it is if it's taught correctly. Our bodies during pregnancy, um, there are different hormones that are changing. So one of the hormones that are elevated during pregnancy is relaxin. I talk a lot about that in the uh, pregnancy teacher training courses because uh, although relaxin is in our bodies anyway, during pregnancy it's highly elevated because it helps to make the ligaments more relaxed. So they stretch better. And it needs to do that because obviously the rib cage needs to extend, the pelvis needs to open up, um, the ligaments, even the linear elbow needs to stretch to accommodate for, for the baby or babies and certainly during birth if we have a vaginal birth. So this doesn't only affect the pelvis, it affects our whole body, which means we can stretch more. But as a yoga teacher, you know that if we overstretch ligaments, they are really difficult. To, um, to heal again uh, because there's not a lot of blood circulation. In 
pregnancy, if we tell our yoga students, just listen to your body, the bodies will tell them, oh, I can finally do the split. I can do Hanuman Asana, Asana for the first time. Or I've never been able to do this kind of forward bend. They're really opening into the hips. It feels amazing. And it does feel potentially amazing at the time. But then they come back home and they're really achy, not muscular pain or muscular ache from being um, exercised, but because they're overstretched. And that stretch can lead to things like pelvic girdle pain, pubic symphysis dysfunction, sacroiliac joint pain, tailbone pain. And that can be so severe that um, the pregnant person won't be able to walk properly. Uh, they might, in extreme situation, have to wear crutch or walk with crutches. They might have to have specific ways that they can birth their baby. This is the, the severe instance but most pregnant people will um, have had issues around uh, pelvic girdle pain and um, and that's not a pain we need to stretch it's a pain where we actually need to really work on the support so we need to work the muscles and at the alignment so if we tell our students as we kind of generally do in a yoga class listen to your body what does the body want to do what's your energy like the body will most likely want to go deeper than what it probably should do. So the, this is one of the things that I'm passionate about because it's something that comes up so much. And, um, and there are other things as well because we can still do a strong practice if, you're all, or if your students are already coming to your practice. Uh, and, and if they have a happy, healthy pregnancy, they can continue. Uh, a very regular yoga session with some modifications of the body, as the body changes. Um, but we do really need to know what happens. It's not just relaxing with progesterone changes. Uh, we have the higher blood volume or uh, volume um, output. Uh, so there is a lot that we need to understand uh, when we work with pregnant people. So I am, so after all my, my studying, I, I did create, co-created a yoga teacher training course for pregnancy and postnatal. Um, and, um, and I taught that for quite a few years. Then I stopped and now I created a new one, which I'm super excited about. So the details, if you want to join me and learn about pregnancy and how to safely teach your pregnant student or perhaps even specialize in pregnancy, um, then have a look on my website, yogaembodied.com, and uh, there will be a, a link in the menu to the Pregnancy Yoga Teacher Training course for yoga teachers. And um, yeah, we'll explore the physical aspect. We talk about Ayurveda, uh, the energetics as well, but for you to be able to see, to see your pregnant students safely through their pregnancies. So yogaembodied.com uh, and um, if you have questions, let me know. Uh, and um, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.